Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to work with planes. Planes are layers inside a form. A form has 100 layers. Whatever you put on plane 0, it's visible in all the other planes. To exemplify this, I'm going to change our menu form. This will now be a login and menu form. To make it easier, let's start by renaming the planes. Double click on the form, access planes, and plane 1 is going to hold the login interface and plane 2 the menu. By default, all created objects belong to plane 0. That's why the form title displays a 0. That's the plane where we are. Let's create a shape on plane 0. We drag. As you can see, the selected plane is 0. This will be a line. I'm going to put a width of 240. Not that much, so let me just adjust the position. There you go. Let's now move the menu buttons to plane 2. We select them, we right click, move to plane 2. As you can see, apparently nothing changes in the interface except the form title. Let's move back to plane 0. Now we only see the shape and the exit button, the controls still associated with plane 0. Now let's move the exit button to plane 1. Move to plane 1. Now we can clearly see that the shape is always visible in all the planes, but then we only see what belongs to each plane. So on plane 1 we see the shape which belongs to plane 0, but we also see the exit button, which belongs to plane 1. And on plane 2, we can see the shape, who belongs to plane 0, and we can see the buttons, the menu buttons, belonging to plane 2. Let's now create the rest of the interface. In plane 1, we need a login button. I'm going to shorten this button, duplicate it, and create the login button. We also need input fields. And to create them, I'm going to drag the columns we need onto the form. So we can simply expand the users table and drag the login column. And notice that Calypso creates automatically the label and the input. I'm going to do the same thing for the password. And again, Calypso creates the label and the input. I'm going to set this input to password. So our login interface is done. Let's move to plane 2, the menu. We need a logout button. I'm going to duplicate one of these buttons and call it logout. So now we have two different interfaces in a single form. Plane 1 and Plane 2. The biggest advantage is the speed of moving between planes, but also being in the same form, which makes possible to access all the controls of the form, regardless of the plane where they are. The downsides are, the more planes you use, the slower will be loading the form. Also, it's harder to understand the flow of your application. You should use planes if you have a straight flow. That is, if from one interface, you always access to the other. Like us, who from login, always move to menu. Now it's time to create, to create all the necessary actions. Let's start by moving to plane 1 in the opening of the form. Actions, go to plane, login. 
save. Now the login button. We don't want to close the form. So we want to check the login and the password of the user. Well, we can do that with the lookup function. So if conditional functions lookup. So if on table users login equals input login. and password equals input password we go to menu otherwise we'll give a message to the user let's say authentication fail We can even clear the password field by setting its value. To empty. And we can also set the focus there so the user can simply start typing the correct password. Now the logout button. We want to start by clearing the content of the login plane. So clear plane. Login. So we are removing all the data entering entered by the user. We need to go there. So we'll go to plane login. And we can even set focus on input login. Let's test the application. So I'm going to input my credentials and I'm going to input a wrong password. Login and authentication fails. If I put the correct password and press login, we enter. We can even try to log out and we can see that Calypso clears and puts the cursor in the login input box. Try to log in again and authentication fails. Unless, of course, we input our correct credentials. Congratulations! You've concluded the tutorial about planes. See you on the next one.